So, hey guys, uh, Ryan here. Gonna show you how to use a glucometer. Um, they're pretty simple for the most part. Um, they all work relatively the same way. Um, however, you know, different models have different uh, test strips, stuff like that. So not every, you know, glucometer will work together. So make sure it's really important if you're working in an offsite and your client has a specific glucometer that you let nursing know what uh, test strips to order or, or the case manager. So um, that being said, over here we have our test strips. In here, each one of these strips basically has an end that is the end that goes into the machine and the end that actually takes the blood up into the test strip. Um, make sure that once you do plug that in, that there is a little drop popping up on the screen. It'll be flashing. That lets you know that it's ready to receive blood and it will give you an accurate reading. If you do it before that time, it's gonna give you an error. So now after the glucometer is used, make sure that you always wipe it down with um, alcohol wipes or anything that will sterilize the equipment because obviously we don't want any infection or things like that. And after that, make sure you put it back into the storage case, uh, dispose of anything that could be potentially sharp or has touched uh, blood into a sharps or biohazard container. And for those of you wondering, no, we do not share glucometers, because that's gross. So I have a Dexcom 6. Um, it helps me check my sugar because I'm a diabetic. I check my sugar about six times a day, usually um, before every meal and two hours after every meal. All you have to do is press the button on my little glucometer, which is in my tote bag, and it will just pop up. It is a constant glucose monitor so that it will um, continuously monitor my glucose throughout the day. The staff are the ones who usually check my sugar. There are two parts to it. Um, so the transmitter, which is the gray part on it, gets changed every three months, and the bottom part gets changed every 10 days. Um, but make sure that you do call nursing ahead of time so that they know that we are coming to get it changed. So the this part, um, stays on me at all times. It does not come off unless it is getting changed. The glucose monitor will be in its bag with its charger. It's in a bag, um, usually on me or in the med room at 11th Street. If it is not near me, um, it will not register and will say, wait, um, sensor lost wait up to 30 minutes for it to reconnect it does not always take 30 minutes um it sometimes takes less sometimes more depending on how long it has been away from me 